But didn't they say that Munson slapped uh, Raymond, right? Well, I don't get in about anybody saying, because I don't look at it, what the hell you going to tell about another man's business like that? Right. So I ain't going to say yeah or nay. I ain't with that gossip yeah. shit. You stand in trial. Why ain't I see you? So under your terminology and understanding, where do you feel like OG could start a person being? Opportunity given. They need to change the language, man. Yeah. Yeah, but what what age do you feel like somebody could be afforded that that tag? You can't. Mm -hmm. You're not an original unless you start something on your own. See, people assume when they hear the term OG, mm -hmm. that means they've been in this game since the start. Mm -hmm. That ain't true. Mm -hmm. We didn't join no games. We started them. It's a big difference. Yeah, real sure. And I don't mean like, and I told them Marvin and Mary, you had Manchester. You've always had games. Mm -hmm. You've always had gangs. This country built on gangsterism. Yeah, yeah. You know what? It's interesting that you say that because that's what I wanted to segue into. So Raymond Washington, um, the histories, and you correct me if I'm wrong, but it's widely believed that he created and started the Crips. Correct? It ain't no widely believed. Mm -hmm. Raymond and them started, they side Crips, mm -hmm. Cribs. Right. You'll, get, you'll hear him arguing Crips or Cribs. It yeah. don't make me no difference because we don't went from uh, uh, being watered holes to choke holes. So it's all just evolution. Mm -hmm. But Raymond and them didn't know that we're from the West Side. They got into a fight at the uh, Boss Tom Cross record hop. Mm -hmm. That's how the West Side, East Side, Compton, and watched them form. That's the tree. Then the next thing after the West Side broke up, Raymond went to prison at an early age. Tookie went to working for Juvenile Hall. Mm -hmm. Then it started breaking in to the sets and stuff like that. But Raymond Washington is the originator with Tookie and other ones where they collaborated. Mm -hmm. But Tookie ended up being more talked about right. because he ended up working with Bob Simmons and them and helping uh, out in the streets where as the juvenile system treated Raymond a little bit more rougher. They'll rehabilitate mm -hmm. uh, Tookie. Mm -hmm. They punish Raymond. Mm -hmm. So a lot of his history is not very well spoken on because right. he didn't live that long. Both right. of them died in 79. Right, right, right. And I was with Raymond right before he got killed and with Tookie right before he got arrested mm, in okay. 79. So okay. I know them men quite was well. the Was the story of how Raymond decided to start the Crips based on the rejection from Munson. You know what I mean? And I know not, Munson. Not because I know it was it was said. <clears throat> excuse me, that Raymond wanted to be a I think a baby af, mm -hmm. and Craig wasn't. You know they they weren't respecting that shit. So so well, I Raymond won't was say like rejection. Okay. What about if he was just telling them in a way not to get involved in this shit? Okay. And so is it true that's why Raymond was like, okay, I'm going to do my own thing and then birth the Cribs, Crips. But I doubt if it would be because of that mm -hmm. uh, where somebody rejected you because mm -hmm. if that was the case, they would have had a beef. Mm -hmm. but, so, didn't they say, but didn't they say that Munson slapped uh, Raymond, right? Well, I don't get in about anybody saying because I mm -hmm. don't look at it. What the hell are you going to tell about another man business like that? Right. So I ain't gonna say yeah or nay. I ain't with that gossip yeah. shit. Is that what Craig said though? Well, I didn't. If you ask me, have I heard it out of Craig's yeah. mouth? Yeah. He told me. Oh, okay. No, he told me. Okay. But like I say, what difference it make? Mm -hmm. When we was coming up, a lot of people got slapped. Right. But a lot of niggas came back and told that ass up too. Right. Because right. they was older and they think they could get away with it. We don't like bullies. Right. <laughs> right. I promise you, young man. So mm -hmm. don't get it twisted to where that made him a punk. Mm -hmm. That was something where they- No, I wasn't you. saying it No, like no, that. I'm just saying, yeah. but a lot of people, when you infer and you say, uh -huh. oh, he slapped him. A lot of people, Guy Walker say, took, he slapped him. Mm -hmm. But that was something like an honor because yeah. you didn't run. No, what? Uh, mm -hmm. matter of fact, we had Melly on and uh, he was telling the story of when I guess somebody got slapped by Tuggy, and he said, what'd you do? He said, shit, nothing. That's Guy Walker. <laughs> he said, nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't see a lot of people get slapped yeah. by Tuggy, but I don't see a lot of yeah. people get slapped, period. Yeah. You know, what they so, used to see. You know, you watch the gangster movie and what they mm -hmm. say, I'm going to get you, copper, tell it, tell it. Yeah. That's the little things right. where you wouldn't think that this shit, little things mm -hmm. like that.
Mm-hmm. It's what made big things now. They wasn't R- playing. No, real on shit. That. Real, real talk, shit. Man. Yeah, yeah, that's real. It ain't as so, fantasized as they think. It's not that complicated. So let me ask you. So where where do you so the inceptions of gangs, the inception of gangs and crips, where, initially what was the precipice for that? Like what what did it what why did it start? You know, was it to protect the neighborhood? Was it the racial shit with the, the spook hunters and all the well, shit? Or what, what was you'll the... talk to Marvin a little about later, and he can uh, address the spook hunters, mm-hmm. Compton Watts. But on the mm-hmm. west side, I moved on the west side where it's basically being from the south and starting integration. See, the west side is not the same mm-hmm. as Compton Watts, east side, because when we moved over there in 69, there was no blacks. Mm-hmm. So we didn't have older guys like Munson. Tookie them would be the oldest, mm-hmm. 18. We didn't have people running around. We had homes, golf courses, mm-hmm. and all that changed. But I also grew up on the east side also. Mm-hmm. So I could see the change from over there. I grew up uh, behind Bethune, which used to be California High, Jackson High. I watched them fight all day with their shoes off mm-hmm. uh, uh, back in the day. But... When it came to the Crips and Bloods and this mystique about them talking about uh, they protecting their communities, they were in Mm -hmm. a certain way. But that's like, for instance, when Tookie uh, Raymond got into the fight Mm -hmm. at Sportsman Park, that's Mm -hmm. what started the dialogue to bring them together. Mm -hmm. It's because they came over there testing the water, Mm -hmm. and that's what happened. So in a sense, they would, because back then, you wouldn't pray in your community. Mm. I didn't ever go to jail to 77 Post Police Station, but about two or three times. But mm-hmm. when it comes to going to jail in other communities, Newton's, Southwest, oh, I don't been there a lot of times because it's easy to attack mm-hmm. a stranger. Right, right. Very easy. Right. So would it be so would it be fair to say that maybe like the Bloods and the Pyrus formed because they didn't want to conform to the pressure of Crips because they they were big, they were huge, it was a lot of them, and they were trying to force motherfuckers to you know, get down with the I program. I won't say the pressure of the Crips or were they really trying to force you to mm-hmm. be shit. Mm-hmm. It was, this is what we doing, and this is how it's getting down. So uh, trying to force you to mm-hmm. be a part, you got to remember these guys only 14, 15, right. 16, 17, 18 years old mm-hmm. at the max. Wow, they talk about the Black Panthers, they feeding lunches, these guys talking about taking lunches. Mm -hmm. So you got a difference in dynamics when you hear them talking about, oh, they was for revolution and all this shit. Mm -hmm. Who in the hell at 14 (laughs) gonna be thinking about being a goddamn (laughs) poncho dealer? Yeah, right. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Right. (laughs) No, we didn't know what we doing. Yeah. And you know, we didn't really gang bang that long. Mm Mm-hmm. I ain't right. never been arrested for a black on black crime, and I've been arrested sixty times. Damn. Yeah, did thirty some years in prison, but it ain't mm-hmm. been for no blacks. Yeah, yeah. I sit in here on the misuse of the internet where they brag about fighting in front of the police. Mm-hmm. But when we started going to prison, we had to basically kill a police, and mm-hmm. that has been done. Mm-hmm. So they talk to the talk, but you know, in California particularly. When you're young and go to prison, <clears throat> usually when you come out, you have a different perspective mm-hmm. of black on black crime, which right. we don't want to say. Yeah, Real but shit. because we've been attacked and been tested by the Mexican mafia, mm-hmm. the Aryan Brotherhoods, the UBN, the Black Panthers, all these factions to where you see that they're only trying to kill you because of the color of your skin and mm-hmm. they're not playing. When you come out, you back up a little bit yeah. off your own people. Yeah. So that's how that goes. So man. let me ask you: Do you think that um, maybe like the? Because I know in your day, even with the gang shit, it 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 didn't become as vicious, um, what like it did in terms vicious. of gang violence, in terms of the drive-bys, automatic weapons, and shit. Like in the '80s, do you think the crack era exacerbated? the gangbang shit where it really just went wrong into where we are today opposed to when you started. When it was like well, you said, it really nigga went slap wrong a nigga because and keep it moving. They didn't come in the way. You got to remember a lot of these guys say they gang members where they can say they read a book and join the Crips. Mm-hmm. Or they can dress like this and say they're a Crip. Mm-hmm. They didn't come in the same way we came in. Right. We couldn't be no rapper, actor, anything, but what did happen, 
to make it more prolific to where the nation started hearing about it is when they brought the cocaine in, mm-hmm. the weapons changed also. Real shit. You so went from 38s to 9s yeah, to went from AKs and Uzi's. Night fevers yeah. and uh, slang <laughs> shots and stuff like that to where now they uh, use an automatic weapon. Yeah. So right when they also was bringing in the cocaine, mm-hmm. that was one of the most devastating things as far as the violence. Right. But it's because of the weapons you use, the weapons of war, so it makes it look more, and the wounds you get mm-hmm. are different. So it ain't just as violent. I mm-hmm. promise you, mm-hmm. all my friends, usually if you sit them down and they're going to have three things in common, if they still living, yeah. they're going to be done dead over 30 some years in prison at the end of the rainbow, or either they're going to be done had a murder conviction, or either they had 40 or 30 something arrests by the age of 17. Because mm-hmm. the juvenile fitness hearing, which everybody get now, didn't start till 1975 behind the behavior of the brown and black youth in California. Look it up. So a lot of times people don't really know the history of the Crips and Bloods and what it's done to America. You got the juvenile fitness here. You got gang enhancements. You got all kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So when I hear about rappers' lyrics and all this or anything to do with rap, Mm-hmm. They don't impress me because they're talking about the stuff that these guys did to create the image. Mm-hmm. South Central. Yeah. They see that image. Mm-hmm. But the image of South Central is from the guys before them to where now don't went to that. Mm-hmm. And they think this South Central. Mm-hmm. This ain't South Central right. where it ended in 48 hours. This right. 48 years of this shit. <laughs> on the way what goes around comes around karma's on the way there's nothing you could do now you gotta pay